Gents, I get it. Money's tight. You're watching every penny, but you still want to build that interchangeable wardrobe. How to do it in today's video, how to go to discount stores, how to go to thrift stores and get the best deal. You ready? Let's do this. Tip number one, shop on the right days. So most donations are going to come into thrift stores on the weekend. That means Monday and Tuesday, they're going to be putting them out on the floor. So you want to make sure to be there when those items are being put out. If you show up 24, 48 hours after the fact, you are picking through whatever is left because there's a lot of people out there that they actually make a living going into these stores, identifying something that's valuable, that's being undersold and they basically are doing arbitrage. They're going to sell it on eBay. So you want to get in there early to get first dibs. Next up, let's talk about the holidays. So thrift stores, discount stores, they want to have some fun here too. And on President's Day, on Veterans Day, on Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, they are going to have sales. You want to make sure if you want to get the best deal to be there on those days. My next tip, when you're looking for something, have pictures of it. You speak to an associate, you say, hey, do you have a trench coat? Do you have some brogues? Do you have a pair of penny loafers in the back? And he's going to say, oh no, we don't. But then you show him a picture of what penny loafers look like, of what brogues look like. And he's like, you know what? We do have a pair of those fancy shoes with holes in them. And here's the deal is that most people do not know menswear. So if you're saying I'm looking for an overcoat, I'm looking for a very particular item, they're just going to probably say, no, nah, I don't think we have it. Versus when you show them a picture, it's like, hey, that's a visual of what they should be looking for. And they can go back there and help you find it. Next up, be the early bird. You want to get there when the store opens. Don't have time. You've got to go to work. Well, maybe look to spend your lunch hour going to a local thrift store and just peruse through it. Yes, you're going to have to eat maybe a sandwich in the vehicle back and forth, but what you're going to do is you're going to find that amazing deal because you were there on time. My next tip for you, go to the right store. You may be into higher end menswear, but if nobody in your area wears this type of clothing, do you think your thrift store is going to carry it? No, you're going to maybe have to travel 30 miles to the right area, maybe a higher end area. Maybe when you're traveling across the country, you stop in the smaller towns, go to their thrift stores. It's amazing what you can find in these smaller towns, just simply because you don't have as many people going through the stores. Next up, leverage technology. Find a pair of shoes, not so sure about them, not so sure about the style, maybe not so sure about the price. Use Google goggles. All of a sudden, you're going to be able to identify what these would have sold for new or take that picture, put it in my Facebook group. People are going to ask you questions. They're going to give you feedback. You're going to be able to like talk with a whole community of people very quickly to make a determination. Is this a good purchase or not? I'm linking to the Real Mint Real Style Facebook group down in the description of this video. It's a free group. Go check it out. My next tip for you, find out when they rotate the tag. So a lot of stores, they go through things that are 50% off, 75% off. They kind of move it around to different sections and on different nights, they change this. Could be Tuesday night, could be Sunday night. Find out so the next day you are there to take advantage of that item you're looking at. Oh, it's just a little bit too expensive. 20 bucks. I don't have the money for it right now. 75% off. Boom. You are there to grab that deal. Now this next one's a little bit sneaky, but donate every time you're going to go shopping. So whenever you donate old clothing, you donate anything to a lot of these thrift stores or discount stores, they're going to give you a coupon for 25% off, 50% off your next purchase. Guess what? You are going to go shopping anyway. You walk in there, you use that discount code and you just saved money and you donated something that you weren't even going to use. Now this next tip is something most guys never do and that is get to know the people that work at the thrift store. Be loyal to the thrift store. Develop real relationships with the people that work there and you would be surprised at what they would do for you. Normally they're not going to hold items but they'll hold them for you. Whenever you tell them what you're looking for, you actually create a hit list with them. They are used to seeing you and whenever that item comes in, they put it to the side not knowing if it's your right size but gosh, every time Mike is in here, he's talked about this. I want to make Mike stay. When it comes down to it, the people working there, they are human beings and they want to help other human beings out. So treat them with respect, get to know them and you'd be surprised at the deals that you can get that most people will never even see. All right, gentlemen, so if you like this video, it's just the tip of the iceberg. I've got you covered with this video right here where I go into 20 money-saving hacks, strange ways that most people don't even know how to save money. I can promise you in this video, you're going to learn something new. Whether you're shopping at a thrift store, whether you're shopping at a box store, whether you're shopping online, I've got you covered in this video right here. Or another video you may want to check out that's not so much about shopping hacks, but how to actually put clothing together to look amazing. Check out this video right here, how to look rich without robbing a bank. In this video, I go into the details of how to put things together, how to look amazing again without you having to spend a whole lot of money. 
All right, gents, now I wanna hear from you down in the comments. What'd you think of this video? And I appreciate you and everything we built here at Real Men Real Style. Remember, it's all about you using style to get what you want out of life. That's what we stand for here at Real Men Real Style. So if you found this video useful, I would appreciate it if you share it, if you would click on the like button, if you would share it with some guy that needs this information and maybe he's saying that money is the reason he can't get dressed sharp, why he's not actually living up to his potential. Show him this video because guys, I do not believe that money should hold you back when you want to dress sharp, when you want to express to the world what you stand for and who you are. That's it guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.